I like how you worded that. That's not correctly true. I'm gonna start saying that for now on. That is not correctly true. That is falsely incorrect. <laughs> start telling people that. That is falsely incorrect. How's it going, Jamie? It's like you're telling them they're wrong and also dissing them at the same time. <laughs> it sounds like a lawyer thing to say, yeah. Lawyer disses are the best. When, like, they have to be politically correct, but they also want to, like, diss the person. So they have to say it with, like, big words that doesn't sound like they're being mean, but they're actually being mean. That's, like, the best. I want to go home. Yeah, it always does that. If you catch him either top floor or middle floor and then you go to the bottom floor, the screen doesn't move correctly and it gets cut off. It's dragon time. Even with double, we weren't able to level up any of them. Which is a problem. Don't think we're going to be able to get through wall. I think wall is going to be a big problem. Princess guard time. You have four HP pluses and you're still like barely higher than everyone else. Um I mean, that's pretty much it. And then I can give... I'll give Red 13 the Fire Ring. I actually kind of want Protect Vests instead of... Talismans. I'm much more afraid of his physical attack. stuff in here. Um, somebody has two restores. Do do? Let 
quickly flop these out so they don't get zero AP from the fight. And you still have double, that's fine. Where are you, Sephiroth? Oh, do I want sadness for the fight? I want cross slash for the fight. Do I want sadness for this fight? You know what? We're gonna send it. Fury, let's go. As long as the one, the dragon behind me doesn't crit anyone, I think if the, I think if one of the dragons crits me from behind, I think it's an auto death, because that attack can do up to like a thousand damage. So doubled would be over 2k. Now if I had sadness it wouldn't. But, you know, we're sending it. I am going to put up big guard but it's not going to be up for long. I'm race car. <laughs> race car. I'm race car. <laughs> then we get the classic red thirteen. It's not him. Oh, shoot. I just realized something. Wow, Aerith just got bamboozled. Um, both my enemy skills are still on Aerith from way back when we did the snakes. Which isn't like a huge problem, but Oh shoot, I thought that worked. I think only cross slash works. They can be paralyzed but not stopped. Alright, there's that 2k damage.
Yeah, that wasn't even a crit. I just want to take a moment to talk about how great this is going. This is going great. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, I got him right where I want him. I'm about to hit him with the triple bye bye birdie. That's a problem, because he's casting Cure. That's a problem. <laughs> I think, uh... I think we might need Sadness. There, Orin. Also, I'd like to, uh, I like to point out we had protect vests on too. Man, I'd love to do a princess guard strat, but it's not smart to try to do. You get Aerith all the way up to 2400 HP. And then do like a Princess Guard counter strat. Dude, I really want to, but I, it's not gonna work because I'd have to cure every single turn. And counterattack's only level one, so it's like never gonna go off. But man, I want to. That would be really fun. Like only if I set the game to wait would that work? Because then I could put up a barrier, but on active, there's like no way. No babies? Well, I mean, when you put it that way. Full clang, boys. Oh 
What could go wrong? Why not? It'll be fun. I will never turn down a chance to show how good the princess guard is. Salmon, think of the 19 months. If Aerith can actually... Oh my god, the bunny hill for babies? Man, there's no way though. There's no way this is gonna work. If Aerith can actually pull this off against two dragons, that's like actual insanity. But I'd have to level up HP pluses. There's no way. Because if they both physical attack me, I'm just dead. Because, like, they're both going to get their turn before I can heal. Come on, man. This is gonna work. It's no way. I'm calling it now. Both dragons are just gonna turn around and smack me. It's gonna be game over. Second. First time I went in without sadness, just to see what would happen, and I got creamed. Now I'm going in with the uh, Aerith strat just for the memes, but it, I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die, and then we'll do it for real. Because this certainly is not going to work. Race car. It's going to be cool for like two seconds and then I'm going to die. Maybe, if she even gets a hit in. You said what? Doing great, Magic. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. I took the time to level up just like two of the HP pluses. Aerith probably have like 30 or like 3,000 HP. So this will be a lot more doable. As soon as Cloud and Red 13 are dead, they're just gonna kill her.
Oh, the counterattack poison. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Even with just Red 13 dead, we'll do some damage. If she hits. Come on, baby. Now's your time. You gotta hit. Gotta hit. Shame. Oh, okay. This'll heal. Or zero. Come on! She's dead. Oh, it crit! If it didn't crit, she would have healed. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I really wish one of those would have hit. I want to know how much damage it was going to do. It was going to be like probably over 2,000. Uh, come, on, man. come on, man. You got to hit those. You got to hit those, Aerith. And they were both poison too. We're going again. One more try. This time, once Cloud and Red Thirteen die, I'll. It's not that bad of a hit rate, it's like 50-50, I think, something like that. I just got unlucky. It might be less, actually. Death Blow misses a lot. The Grumpy Otter. The Angry Beavers. more Canadian. Ares, destroy my enemies, or my life is yours. Angry Beavers? No, that was an American show. I used to watch it all the time. I mean, at least it was on here. Maybe it was made somewhere else, but... Yeah, there was a show called Angry Beavers. He just said it was more Canadian because beavers. He was not aware that it was a show. just trying to bring you back into the light.
He said, what? this time. Don't pick up my boy. Oh yeah, I, I did forget to go back to double lost number. That's alright, you can do them after this. I'm glad I didn't, because then I wouldn't have had enough time. I definitely wanted to try this today. I killed the regular one, but there's a bonus one. A bonus fight. Bonus fight, they're both in their second phase already. Aaron. Come on, lady. Plus, I think they have bonus stats, too. Because they definitely seem stronger. Cloud hero. Alright, I might be dead. Unless the other one fire breaths. Aerith. You gotta hit those. Alright. Ah, I'm still dead, I think. So it looks like Death Blow would do about 1600. Plus potentially poison. fun. I knew it wasn't going to work. <laughs> it's just too much. Cause, like, it, you can't even do it to where like one would get a turn and then you'd heal and then the other one would get a turn and then you heal. They'd just both get their turn before you, so. On active fastest. So there's no way. Alright, anyways. Back to normal business. Uh, you get those, you get those, you get restore, and revive, and a better all materia. Uh, you get elemental fire. No one has fire for some reason. You can have the fire ring. Uh, yeah, that should be good. I want HP plus down here. We can have added effect poison then, because no one else can do it. How high would you recommend this mod? It has a couple issues, because it was kind of like unfinished. 
but it's really fun, and the challenge itself is more fun than I thought it would be. So, like, if it's interesting, I recommend giving it a shot, if you like the idea of it. So it, de it definitely has been fun. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Um... How did Genovaroth get to the Temple of the Ancients? Uh, well, he has all the all the knowledge of the Ancients from riding the live stream, so he knows exactly where it is. He had all this figured out from the beginning. That's why he wanted Cloud's party to get here so that they'd get it for him. He's had all this plan to sense Shinder HQ. And that's why, that's also why he tells them his plan here. It's cool, because normally when a villain tells the protagonist his plan, it's like, wow, why'd you tell him? But here it makes sense, because he wants him to know exactly what he's going to do. So he'll take the black materia to try to stop him. Because he knows that the Genova reunion's going to happen, and he's going to give him the black materia no matter what. I find it funny that even though his plan is for Cloud to get the Black Materia, and then the Genova reunion happens, and then Cloud brings it all the way to the North Crater. Thank you, George, for the thousand bits. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for all the support today. Dude, it's been awesome. Thank you. Um, even though he knows that Cloud's gonna make it all the way to the North Crater and give him the Black Materia himself, he still steals it from him right after they leave the temple. <laughs> Just to pretty much prove he can do it. Just to show Cloud that he's strong enough to do it. Just to mess with Cloud. Think of the bits, Daniel. Yeah. He might honestly be. Like, because the whole thing with him taking Cloud back to the past and showing him it, the picture of Zack and everything, like, he didn't have to do any of that. But I think, like, he wants revenge because Cloud was the only one to defeat him. So he's like, I'm going to make... I'm gonna make Cloud give me the black materia, but I'm gonna like ruin him. Also. Oh, I forgot to move the enemy skill, but that's fine. Don't. Here. 
Alright, that should work. Double hit Aerith again. I was about to be upset. Dragon Scales OP. How's it going, SR? Good to see you. Stardust Ray. Now that's a big win right there. Double Dragon Armlet. fun guys <laughs> this was a really fun playthrough we had a good time there was some memes remember that one time I had to fight Goto twice that was really funny no it's not impossible but uh I'm actually going to have to grind out these HP pluses for quite a while, probably. There is one mechanic you can take advantage of in this fight to make it easier. But even with that, it's going to be an absolute luck fest if I don't level up HP pluses. Can I get a pizza? Curious how long I will survive if you head in straight now. 
straight, head to it straight in right now. Uh, I'll give you two guesses. <laughs> I'll give you two guesses as to how this is going to go. Even with Tranks. And Protect Vests. In two Dragon Armlets. You guys want to know how bad this fight is? Keep in mind I have, what, six HP pluses right now? Normally you'd have one. I have six HP pluses and everyone is in sadness. Ghost Cloud. <laughs> so, he did 1800 damage with that rock, and they can throw multiple rocks. I got lucky, only threw one. SR, they were the 55 months. Thank you so much for being here for so long, man. That's why I said we need to buy six HP pluses before we even enter the temple. Uh, the rocks do double damage and he can throw more than one. So the damage is just unreal. Um... The one mechanic we can take advantage of here is we can um, we can cycle their HP so that they do demon rush instead of throwing rocks by throwing right arms because right arms tend to do enough damage to throw them into his step forward phase. Nice. <laughs> but, you know, when he just one-shots two people back-to-back, -back, there's not a lot I can do.
Ja. Ja. So this is why I said this fight's gonna be by far the hardest fight in the game. And it ain't even close. Um, and there's nothing I can do to stop this damage. I have the best armor in the game at the moment, and a protect vest. There is nothing I can do. The only thing I can do is do enough damage to where... Uh, well, I can use Barrier, but it doesn't last very long in active, and I'm trying to stay on active. The reason I didn't have Barrier in the last two attempts is because he one-shot Aerith both fights. <laughs> so I never got it off. Um, but it's not going to help much, unfortunately. Yeah, I could have gotten Adamant Bangles, but it wouldn't help much. Um, if I can get this barrier up and I can start dealing damage, I can get them into their phase where they do less damage. Okay, he started in forward phase, that's good. He didn't, so I'll use Bahamut on him. Demon Rush is still going to hurt, though, unfortunately. Just not as much as a rock. Yeah, see, that whole time... that There goes my barrier. <laughs> Just watching him move forward and back, my barrier's gone. Two safer Sephiroths are easy in comparison to this. Saber Sephiroth only has one physical attack. And there goes Red 13. I need just a little more HP to where they don't get one shot. If I wasn't getting one shot, I'd have a much better chance. Nice dodge. This guy should be moving forward here, but now the other one isn't, which is a problem. There he goes. So now I throw a red arm on the right guy to try to get him to move forward. And then we should be able to actually survive for a second. I gotta throw up big guard again here. dead. Holy! I think that was a crit. That's a shame. By the way, the rocks can crit, too. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet. No, I think that was a back attack and a crit. Cause it cause Demon Rush normally only does like seven hundred. Yeah, the rocks can also crit. If a rock crits, it's doing like four K. Yeah, I just need a little more HP. I wanna try um I wanna try wait. If we actually have our barrier on for a bit. Let's see how it goes. I think I would rather... I would rather win this fight in wait than grind. So if I can beat it in wait, I think I'll 
take it. I did not go into this with the rule set of it has to be on active. I just wanted to do active if I could. But I think beating it on weight is more impressive than grinding. So. If we can beat him on weight, I'll take it. Then it makes the the rest of the fights in the game harder. So I'm not a crazy level. Although, I'm not really worried about too much after this. This is definitely the final boss. There'll be some other tough fights. Turks are going to be tough, probably. I don't know, maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe there'll be some really tough fights later. Carry armor will also be tough. Even if I cheese him, it'll be tough to survive to the point where I can... Uh, cheese him. Yeah, Rude hits like a truck. Rude's gonna hit for like 6,000 damage. Make sure I was hitting the right one. They're so close together. Okay, so I think it takes two right arms. So if I can keep this spam going, they will only cave in. I think we got this. Cuz I'm going to be able to throw these two right arms and he's going to he's going to move right up again. We should be able to completely dodge the rocks if we do this correctly. Aerith gets her right arm out fast enough. I think this guy's gonna get one rock in, though. I could blade beam him. That might help. He, he should be almost dead, actually. Like, the right, the left one should be getting close to dead. Oh, she did get it off. Uh, be careful here. Probably need to save Aerith's turn.
Nice dodge. What's the plan, though? I'm out of right arms. Nothing I do deals damage. dodges. Uh, Red 13's our biggest damage here. So I kind of want to revive him. said, no. You're not reviving that boy. You would miss. Biscuit for the biscuit. Nice. Okay. I was like, if that isn't enough damage to get him to move forward, then I'm in trouble. But it was. Ah. Oh. Nice, super rare attack. I can't see anything. I have a soft, right? really close to dead. Oof. Oh! She's alive. Never mind, she's dead. The double rock! No! Yeah. Yeah, the double rock. I think I hope this kills. So other than that, I'm dead. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Dodge? Alright, that's doable. 100% doable. The left wall was almost dead. Yeah, spider webs quicker. Uh, probably save Bahamut till later. Although, Bahamut was nice to get him, like, in the phase at the beginning. Because I need them to get into Demon Rush phase at the beginning right away. So I have time to set up Big Guard and everything. Um... Otherwise, it's, like, screwed either way. Overtime stream.
I mean, if Red 13 hadn't died, that would have been a big deal. It's too bad I don't have a couple more right arms. Should have gotten more. Attack strats. Nail bat being unironically used in a challenge run. That's pretty hype. Absolute max health we can possibly stretch. Let's see what happens. For you guys, for all the crazy support today, and for everyone hanging out today, I really appreciate you guys. One more for the memes. Excellent start. Excellent. Fantastic. Hit Cloud, please. Never mind. Did I say one more attempt? I said... I meant two more. Obviously I meant two more. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. What sucks is Red 13 almost lived. He was so close. You just die. Cloud, thank you. <laughs> A level or two. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he only barely died, so he might actually be right.
nice. about damage at the start. You can heal later. Emulgator, thank you for the 48 months, the four years. Thank you. Yeah, I can't heal at all at the start. I have to get them both in Demon Rush first, then I can heal. I don't even think he got into Demon Rush phase either. Neither one of them are. Okay. He definitely will be now. So maybe if I'm super uber lucky, I can get this one. Oh, he already was. I really want to revive Red 13 here, but I have to throw a soft. Alright, what I want to do is I want to throw a Phoenix down with Cloud and then interrupt their attack with Healing Wind. But I don't know if I'll have enough time to do that. Oh, this will work. Nice miss. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. Okay, I need to do damage. I have one limit. Oh, good. Okay. Maybe if I'm lucky, this will put him into... Phase two. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me think. I think we spider web now. I don't want to do damage until they back up. I'm afraid Red 13's not going to survive both Demon Rushes. Do I defend? Or do I Big Guard? Or do I heal? I think I defend. free turn here. What do I do with it? Heal? I think I set up a heal. Wait for a rush. Yeah. Oh my god. The crit. <laughs> that is... That is a stare right there. Yeah, man, that was going so well, too. 
I, like, everything was so perfect. Bro, can you stop? Freaking double rock, too. Dodge. That's not a dodge. It's fine. Eric's gonna take us to the green. <laughs> Take us to the green. Never mind. All right. Well, this is good. You guys now know how difficult this fight is. We can jump into it next week. And I kind of want to keep trying. Zack banned the demon wall. Uh, I kind of want to keep trying, like, without leveling up. Because on weight, I think it's possible. We just got to get lucky. So, uh, I kind of want to keep trying it and see what happens. Um, with, And it looks like even if we just go up a few levels, we'll be to the point where, like, we can survive a rock without barrier so that might help too but I think there's a crazy world where we could actually get the right RNG I have to perfectly balance damage and healing to where I'm doing just enough damage to make them demon rush but then also having enough turns to heal to survive both demon rushes and then right after the demon it's hard because right after the demon rushes I have to both heal and do enough damage to both to where they both demon rush again so there's so much going on. But with the right luck, I think we can do it. I wish I had like two more right arms, but... Um, Cloud was doing more damage because of the... Um, the nail bat. So I think with the extra nail bat damage, maybe one of them would have died before I ran out of right arms. But I'm, dude, I'm excited now. I'm going to be thinking about this all week long. Like, can we do it with what we have? Or maybe just leveling up a little bit? This is going to be a really epic fight. And I'm glad, because this is definitely going to be the hardest fight. So, after this, it's going to get easier. The final bosses, unfortunately, are a bit broken. So, like, those fights aren't really going to be the same. The weapons are functional, kind of. So, like, those are probably going to be weird, too. So, I mean, this is definitely the final boss of the of the mod, so I'm happy it's going to be close and not just, oh, we have to grind for like 20 hours and then it's easy. So, I'm excited. But yeah, we got to say goodbye now. Let's say goodbye to YouTube. YouTube, thank you so much for watching Pincer Mod. It has been amazing. Uh, so much fun that we fought Materia Keeper and Palmer twice because we were just having so much fun. We had to do it. Uh, hope you enjoyed and thank you for all the love and support all the comments and stuff about being happy that there's a Final Fantasy 7 challenge back and how much you guys are enjoying Pinsir it means a lot and I appreciate it we'll see you back here in the next episodes peace out